after experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was, the night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. This sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Huh? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. Then while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Did you just break the fourth wall? I don't know. What? What does that mean? Whatever. My goodness gravy. Swear to God, if another text box appears, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> there. Now it should ask us to save, right? This is a long game. <laughs> long, long game. Danganronpa. Nope. For a long time, what? Oh, uh, we're starting. Accomplish <laughs> anything. <laughs> Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. Is this Nagito? The internet, TV, and newspapers yeah. are overflowing with hopeful messages Aaron that say exactly that. Aaron Yeager. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win. Honestly, if you were to like take a scene, like you know they like do fake dubbings where they like just move his mouth mm -hmm. and sink. You could honestly put this over it and it would sound like you'd believe it with like how season four is gone. Mm -hmm. all worthless trash. Oh my god. What are you there doing? Are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth and everybody else. What are you talking no about? Matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. <laughs> they say that effort means success. <laughs> the, the way his mouth moves kind of creeps me out. <laughs> the world is not that accommodating. I don't know what to think of this guy. No matter like how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. <laughs> All right. No matter how that makes sense. The tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. <laughs> Dude, can you Which go on? Unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. She's just talking about like the ultimates and how they're the worthy people. Hmm. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. I think he just offended literally everyone who has a talent. <laughs> That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Because you didn't work for it, and but you were just born just with this talent. Know. What I feel is different from admiration. I mean, I can see how we'd have that because he's like the ultimate lucky one, but that's not something you can work for. I guess so. Is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. I mean, yeah, he literally offered himself to like get killed if any of them wants to kill him. So I want you guys to believe yeah. me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me, but if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the yeah, killer I... survives. Where do you think he's going right now? But the killer survives. Just off the screen to the left somewhere. He's, do you think uh... we sat here long enough to <laughs> just disappear? No, never mind. He yeah, stopped. Just... stopped. Yeah. I, I wanted to wait to see him do it. Do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes. The absolute hope that lies ahead. Oh my Yet, god. I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. Do you think this guy's. He's probably gonna survive like a bunch of near death encounters in this game, I bet. And he'll always be like 
Like, oh crap, I'm lucky. Yeah. I could see him being someone... Maybe that's like where some of it comes in, though. Where Teru Teru, like, try to take over and... Oh, yeah, I guess I'm not close, am I? Um, now I lost my train of thought. But, like, he was gonna kill someone and, like, you know, go through the whole process of getting caught and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Teru Teru kind of took over, you know? Yeah. So maybe that ties in with how lucky he is. That he'll, like, like, never... saved him. There'll always be another th plot that saves him. Um... A quick note before we continue. This oh, yeah. is a new recording session, and everyone was saying how we needed to like know what happens in the first game to mm -hmm. understand this game. So I guess like spoiler warning for the first game from here on out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because we'll probably reference it a few times. But we went back and looked at everything that happens. Yeah, it was like um, a 20 minute video we watched. Yeah. So the key points we figured out, last chance if you want to dip. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just explain it and don't dip. If well, we don't have to explain explain it because I'm sure people who are watching this have seen most of it. But if you want to cover but like you don't the, know that. That's true. We'll cover the cliff notes. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, in the first game, it's revealed that the world actually ended. And uh, the original like killing game was all like part of this. It's the ultimate despair. It was this girl who's behind it the whole time. And, uh, well, he plays this guy who's the ultimate lucky student, <coughs> which makes it confusing who this guy is. If he's the same guy, if he's, like, a different version of the same yeah, guy, or what? Yeah, we were theorizing because he wears, like, from what I remember, the dude wears the same coat, is what really got me. Or a very similar one. Mm-hmm. So. So. And yeah. obviously the same luck thing and all that. Byakuya was in the same game, too. Yeah, uh, except he was skinny in the other one. <laughs> and rude. Well, well he was rude in this one. Rude. But his like whole thing in the first game was like, I'm going to kill you guys when you least expect it. Yeah. And then in this game, he's like, I'm not going to let anyone die. So, and yeah. World destroyed. Nagito maybe in the first game. Byakuya, definitely. And then... Um, I don't know. There might be some other people with some tie-ins to the first game, too, but I'm not sure yet. Because you've said they s seem familiar? They, they just look f similar to some of the people that survived in the first game. Okay, but we don't know. It's not, like, a definite. Yeah, like, I have no, no other influence telling me that besides... They kind of look alike. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, moving so on. Please, let me help you. Picked a good time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits. Oh, shut up. Hey, that's the short girl, I bet. Pow! Probably. Maybe. Anyway, because the world is like ended, like, right? Yeah, or that's what was said. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess it's gone. It makes me think this is a simulation even more. Byakuya and Teru Teru died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. It'll be a lot quieter with those two gone, though. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how it'll affect everyone, though. Oh. Ah, Ajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh, yo. <laughs> we just saw our friend die. <laughs> Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. <laughs> Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. Not really. And... <laughs> That friend was also killed right in front of us. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about Terra Terra. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you uh, constantly say how much you hate him and how much you're glad he's gone. You're the real villain here. Yeah. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? God, this voice, I don't remember it. Yeah, it might take a second for me to get back huh? to the video. You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. That's like what happened. Byakuya, 
And Terra Terra got killed. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, you ugly poodle. <laughs> poodle. <laughs> ah, why are you always so mean to me? But... Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Yo, she's speaking facts though. <laughs> <laughs> New favorite character? Maybe. What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No, that was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him... <laughs> I, the stupid high-pitched voice is... It's so easy to like Me mess up. up the words anyway you gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart he's a stupid piece of trash butt turd who committed the <laughs> lowest crime possible he deserves to get killed in fact i'm rather relieved he was executed if i could have i would have totally spat on him too hmm hmm oh she smells something Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but <laughs> not about me being a pea brain. <laughs> something smells, don't you think? Huh? Eh, again. It can't be. Uh, uh I always remembered it as like tougher Aubrey. Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. I bet you it's smells Nagito bad. cooking. Um, it's what? Nagito cooking. <laughs> he might be trying to be like, what's up, guys? <laughs> it's kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells after closing time, you see. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. You must have a pretty rough life. Now that, you mention it. now that you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotting garbage. <laughs> I know what it is. Nekumaru's breath probably stinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got me there. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> now, it's not Nekumaru. The smell's coming from... You, Yoko? <laughs> huh? Whoa. Whoa, it's true. Hiyoko, you reek. Oh, did you do to me? A rotten smell stings my eye, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. Oh my my! Oh, she's crying. I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. <laughs> okay, well, I don't feel so bad for her. That was close. Uh, no, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my breathe. <laughs> You want me to hit you with a hammer? I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> Got him. Are you even taking baths? <laughs> what the heck? She. I thought she'd have a little more mental toughness. Wait a minute. What? She has this similar, like, hairpins that Junko did. Oh, the, 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 the evil girl in the last game? Yeah. Maybe like a younger sister. <laughs> I don't know. You did say like, maybe... Some of them bear some resemblance. Yeah. So it, it may just... I don't know if it means anything, but it just makes me wonder. Yeah. Um, eh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Y you haven't bathed? I, I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> You just wear something else. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey. hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? <laughs> really? <laughs> I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! Wonderful. <laughs> what the heck happened? I love you, Mahiru. I'll give you a kiss. 
to, hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. I ship it already. I don't. You don't. Imagine how much she smells. She's like, I'll kiss you. And it's just like rotten <laughs> eggs. <and stuff. laughs> she appears to have taken a liking to you. Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. Air's <clears throat> suddenly not so tense anymore. I don't know. I think it got tense. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Um, anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nagito? It seems they are both not here. But now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything. <laughs> hmm. I have no idea! But without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. Huh? They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not. I'm not suspicious. Impossible. <laughs> That's right. I'm not suspicious. What's the matter? Oh yeah, I forgot this is me. <laughs> I'm still waking up. What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? She's been up for like seven hours. <laughs> uh, well, you know. You just, you came at just the right time! Mm hmm? At the right time? No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I, I can't help myself, you know. My, my body reacts to Monokuma on its own. You look so happy voicing that. I don't mind it. <laughs> something like that? Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually, to be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? What the hell? You know, my mono beast. One of them just disappeared. Oh, I bet a new island got unlocked. Oh yeah. Huh? One of the mono beasts disappeared. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. Let me tell you. This. But. That guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? <laughs> Though this is merely the prelude, the climax will occur, occur soon after. <laughs> now then, let me hear your scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. What are you talking about? Wait, did he kill the, mo the mono beast? Is that what he's saying? Maybe, I don't know. Or you know what? No, when we we didn't have this on the video, but when we started and loaded up the game, it said like, "Watch the adventures of Usami or whatever her name is." Oh, now. that didn't happen. That that she, you didn't see happen. That she beat up the Mono Beast. I think is the implication. Okay. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire I'm still being called a stuffed animal. <laughs> Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat bot once said, Our eyes are on the front, so we can keep moving forward. I thought I said cat boy. Cat boy? <laughs> yes. A wise cat boy once said. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again, he disappeared. Hey, do you think... What do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. This is just gonna be like um, dyslexia. Let's play. Or <laughs> Seriously, or... we're either like forgetting our voices, or we just like stumble over them mm -hmm. or can't read. It's easier to read when I'm not thinking it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The only possibility I can think of is. Um. Were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later. Then leave. Yeah. yeah, at least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ah, yes, that's right. Why is that girl so smart? Chiaki or 
Chiaki? How do you Gamers say? are really smart. Gamers are like <laughs> alpha humans. I mean, if she's good at all the games, she has to have like great reflexes and like like all the games. I would think that includes like strategy games too. I suppose. So she's got to be the pro gamer, you know. <laughs> she's beaten all the Danganronpa. She knows what happens. Exactly. She's cheating. She's just, she's just cheating. Ta-da! I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. You, you did. You serious? Defeating a monster like that. How the heck did someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released that bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ahem, that's totally right. Now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Love, love. L living together on this island isn't what's important. We, we need to find a way to escape. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Why, you? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I just want to live a life where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Alright, All right. if you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. Um. It seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Haha, <laughs> then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. Alright. Right. No. <laughs> Alright, let's find a way to leave this island. <laughs> that is impossible. Huh? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Uh. Hey, hey! Hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you just don't get that close to her. You're right. Seems everyone's attention has shifted towards exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape this situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. I'm excited to see what they got there. I don't want to leave. I like these guys. How you doing, stinky sewer girl? Bathing is more important to me than a new island. They'll tease me for being stinky. That sets her on the path to murder, I bet. Everyone called her stinky and now she's okay killing people. <laughs> mm -hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues too. Aww. Eh, you can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono sash. But that was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but, but if I don't hurry and go take a bath... <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Call me smelly again. They're <laughs> gonna bully me again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, then let's take a light shower first. Yay! Yay! We're gonna wash each other. Huh? Huh? Wash each other? Hey. Hold on. I, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in too. <laughs> now, now. We're both girls. There's no need to be shy. I thought we got rid of Teru Teru. What is with, with this? I like I like this one better. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> but... Let's go! Yoko pulled Mahiro's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see. Washing each other, huh? Washing Shut each other? Up, Hajime. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't. What am I thinking? If I get caught, I'll never hear the end of it. Come on. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> but, but even I have men's urges swirling within me. Huh? That's right. I do have it. A huge man's nut like this. Urges. 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 Nut urges. Nut. Nut urges. Urging nuts. <laughs> nuts and urges growing within me. That's right, I have this with me. Alright, I will obtain it. An urge that will exceed this nut. What? And then, I, beyond the steam. What is going on? Are we unlocking, like, <laughs> just by chance, do we have something that, like... This is the ultimate purr. <laughs> I saw the nut. No, the urge that was resting on this island. What the? He actually did it? 
Oh. Washing each other. Yay! Yay! Hey. <laughs> this I is. Want you to wash you, Mahiro. From where to where do you want me to wash you? Uh. This is so uncomfortable. What did this turn into? <laughs> Jeez. Oh! <laughs> Just like chestnuts roasting on an open fire, my urges are boiling, churning, and unloading inside my heart. What? I. What no, is going I on? Like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Not for a second. <laughs> Wait, huh? Was my characterization always this way? No? What happened? <laughs> it feels like I lost sight of myself. It's not like I can erase what I've already seen. I'll just leave it be. What in the world just I happened? Don't, yeah, let's just let's leave. Let's no, get out of here. Hold on, hold on. He literally commented how his like character just changed. Do you think that's like a weird? It's because we, you know, we have that item called man's nut. Where did we get that from? Just I think it's just a present we picked up from the game. Is it? Also, look how much money we have. Oh my god. I'm thinking that that's probably just like, if you have certain items at certain points, it'll let you do random things, you know? <laughs> what the heck? But that was... I'm confused. Hold on. Yeah, see? A huge nut that can't be found in nature. It's said to exist within a man's heart. It's said that consuming this will increase your power to pursue romance. I, okay, I'm so confused what just happened, but whatever. Yeah, let's just never talk or think about that again. <laughs> I I did not think anything like that would happen. Like, I thought they'd leave and it'd be like, okay, well, what should I go do? Yeah. <laughs> and they started talking about his, like, urges and his man's nut. I'm like, what are you, what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, what? The heck game. Huh? The heck. What do you mean? Oh, now, what happens if we go to look in, like, Terra Terra's house? I don't know if we can. It'd be kind of nice if we could. Do, do, do. Let's see. Let me in. I'll find out about the Hanamura Diner, and when I do, I'll make sure I let you know. Yeah, that's cute. Let's yes. see what Byaki has going on. Byakuya, you really tried to keep your promise, huh? You promised not to allow even one victim. Well, you failed. Hmm. Cause you're the victim. Let's go gamble. Okay. <laughs> God, I'm still so like shocked. Yeah, I don't what? <laughs> understand why that. Whatever. Why that what? Why that happened? I can make a detour anytime I want. Oh, I should okay. hurry and go investigate. I guess we're pretty locked in right now, then. Yeah, this is fast travel. I don't care to watch it. <laughs> God, how do I get there? Oh, this is the central island. Oh, okay. There it is. Second so this one. Island. Okay. She's right. The monobies that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? Alright, I guess I should find out. I don't know if I'll be able to recover from the last 10 minutes. I know, yeah. What the heck is going on here? Is that safe to leave in the video? <laughs> I mean... I might put some pretty obvious sensor boxes there. <laughs> Y'all have Google images, you can look for yourself, okay? <laughs> there might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. Alright. Oh, I like the... The way. So, so what do we got here? What are we dealing with? An old ancient ruin? We gotta explore. <laughs> what the? Holy is that Hope's smokes. Peak? Wait. Is it? That's the the building from the first game, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. Yeah, because don't they leave yeah. through a vault door? What the heck? What, what is this enormous building? It has the ambience of an ancient ruin, but its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Hey, Chiaki. Ah, uh, sorry. I was dozing for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, 
What's this huge building? It looks like some sort of ruins or a historical landmark. If it was Hope's Peak, wouldn't they recognize it? Because they only lost their memories after they entered the building. I guess, yeah. But still, it looks so similar to the, what I saw. Mm hmm. Ancient ruins. That's what you think, too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. Special place. I'll check around here a bit more, so you can go somewhere else. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? <laughs> she just want to sleep again. <laughs> she probably wants to be alone, so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yeah, leave it to me. Jeez, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile is so innocent. It's even more annoying to deal with. What's happening? I feel like so much has changed in the last like two seconds. I know. Is it Hope's Peak? Hold on. I'm Googling Google Hope's imaging. Peak. Google imaging. Google imaging. Anyways, I guess I'll be cutting around this. Sorry, Ethan in the future. It totally is. It totally is. Yeah, literally the exact same shape in every way. So... Does it even have I the mean, vault on the front? Well, I don't know if the original building... Mm. Yeah. Um, that was like the renovated one. <laughs> so, I do know something. I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. Okay. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. Library. Well, that'd be nice to have. Yeah. Honestly, if Usami or Monami or whatever her name was, like, original plan worked, not a bad deal. But we just kind of all live here. Mm hmm. You know? So. Yeah, it'd be fun. I'd live here. Me too. As long as I liked the other, like, 15 people. Though the constant threat of murder would be a little much. What do you mean? In that hypothetical. Because, like, if they all just be like, okay, whatever, let's just live. Or try and find a way out. Like, they got the tools here, you know? I guess. Wow. That's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. I mean, probably. Oh my god. Poor, uh oh. Uh, what's her name? Usami? The bronze statue of Monami. I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. <laughs> Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. Well, sucks. What else is there to look at? I think we can look at Monokuma as a statue. Books. The books on the shelf. What language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. Is it not a language we can read? Hmm. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. <laughs> More broken statues. Okay. Yeah, we've seen that. What about these books? A lot of them have really fancy covers. They might actually be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. So it's a language we can't understand then. I suppose. Because we know we can read because we read the note. It was the Mm-hmm. This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also uninhabited. Hmm. So do you think... <clears throat> Obviously the note we found was in English, but do you think it was like actually Japanese and just like whatever? I think it depends what language you have the game set to. <laughs> Probably. But um <clears throat> but do you think it's like a real language in these books? Well, cuz it doesn't even see like if it was English, you'd be like, "Oh, this is English, duh." Yeah, even yeah, I feel like they pointed out if they couldn't read it. I feel like there's a reason for that. Mm hmm You know? Could have something to do with our memory loss, too. It could be. Surprise! I am a little surprised. 
I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true. And just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that there were... Uh, the fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here! I'm reading a book! Ah, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um, I see. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you could do homework. So, I've prepared this library. Prepared? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. I am a teacher. With a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So, what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye. Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. I cannot believe that she's the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. I see. According to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they donated. <laughs> Hold on. Did you just say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? Yes. Jabberwock Island. Ooh. It's English. Oh, so I guess maybe he can't read English because he's a Japanese student. But Sonya can. Perhaps. What language is this? I have no clue. Then... Then I shall read it on your behalf. Yeah, she can read it. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> mm-hmm. I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. Wow. 30 languages. Does the royal family have a limit? Um. Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is... Exactly what Byaki had told us before. Hmm. These islands are huge. Yeah, they're pretty big. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh? Does it? It is strange, no? That is strange. I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. It only has a statue. Yeah, you're right. This is you. Oh! What are you looking at me for? I thought it was you. No. There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were Monokuma Rock in the park. Uh, also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... that statue? Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the Mana Beasts? But that statue is in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Hmm. Please wait. But that is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah? Artificial Island? Well? Palm Jumeirah is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. That especially might be why we're the only ones on this island. Just kidding. 
Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completed artif completely artificial. Unless it's a simulation. Oh my god. This guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. My, my, my. Or, oh, excuse me, guys. My, my. You're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now, now you're here? Hey, hey. <laughs> However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. The, those guys. The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm, it's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Are you not part of them? Yeah. Who, who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial? There's no way that is true. There's no way. That guidebook, it's probably just old. You are right. That's right. It's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things to confuse us. Dang it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Sure, guys, sure. Hmm. Y'all are acting sussy. Paco! <laughs> Paco! This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also uninhabited. Did we talk to her already? I don't think so. I thought we did. <laughs> Anyways. Whoa! Oh, oh, that's a money thing, right? Yeah. Oh, oh what? It's... Oh, do you think island, each island has its like own variation of it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like that the last one was sexy Monokuma. Because he had the little, like, seashell bra and stuff. You miss it? No, I don't miss it. <laughs> Definitely don't miss it. Before I go somewhere else, I should look around here a bit longer. Okay. More bookshelves? Yeah, I guess I didn't look at those. Hmm, what language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I see, I see. Hmm, such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? <laughs> the newest issue of Occult Magazine. It breaks the lid off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. Hmm, that's quite a surprise. It is not like I read it often. I am just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. Yeah, there's a time and a place, and this entire area <laughs> we're in is not it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It seems this writer has very good taste. I wonder if it's the writer from the previous game. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. A character from the first game. Is it? Yeah. It's the split personality girl. Oh. Hmm, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Most tight. Genocide Jack? Would you just say most tight? Yeah. Like, that's tight, yo. Like, you never hear that? Not from princesses. That's true. Who knows? <laughs> Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. She's so popular. Apparently she's a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Is that actually something that happens in like Japan and other Asian countries? What, the sailor uniform? Yeah, like does any, is that actually a thing anyone does? Like I know they have uniforms, but is it bear similarities to it um uh, probably in some places from what he just said it, it's probably a little old school now yeah that's true anyways ah uh, this one is a particular favorite of mine sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles hmm i shall explain it to you just in case sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls himself the ally of justice <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. S Sonia, calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. 
After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes. You sure know a lot about serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please hold on, it is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. <laughs> Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, their value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why does it feel like everyone's personality got switched all of a sudden? Do you or think maybe dialed up a little bit? Do you think something actually happened? Because all of a sudden we became a pervert. Uh, okay. Just, Chiaki or whatever became like kind of rude and pushy. Uh, hmm. She's becoming like obsessive about serial killers now. Well, we knew she liked the occult. We just didn't ever see it beforehand. Mm -hmm. If we looked in her character description beforehand, when we did, it said she it said likes occult. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like so. I feel like hers is kind of normal, but it feels like everything's getting dialed up a little bit. Well, here's something else too. Two people that we met did just get murdered yesterday. So maybe it's Yeah, but I don't feel like, like I'd be all enthusiastic about serial killers. After Everyone my copes a different way. We learned that from Amori Gage. <laughs> I guess. You're not learning the lesson here. Mm-hmm. Ha, ah, I am totes intrigued. Is, is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Cool. Anyway... Yeah. <laughs> Just keep her away from any knives. <laughs> yeah. Here, if I become a serial killer, she'll love me. Well, there you go. Amazing.